All right, Mr. Jake, thanks for jumping on. Uh, I'm digging pleasure. the frames, digging, digging the white frames. That's new. That Frank did not wear white frames in the movie. That's for sure. Mm-mm. That's no. not a Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's out Frank, of character. Frank did, Frank did not care about his glasses at all. No. Yeah. He, he was just cared about off. this. <laughs> If we're, right. we're doing, if, we're, if we're doing a uh, uh, Frank after the movie, um, Frank started drinking again. <laughs> He's like, uh, guys, this sucks. Really? I got to start drinking again. <laughs> oh, well, tell me, uh, so uh, for the audience, for the you know eight people watching this, and mom, thanks for watching this, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jake and I go pretty far back, starting to shoot uh some stuff with whitewater and shooting weddings together and mm-hmm. t- kind of tell me where you grew up a little bit, a little bit about that, how you got into kind of some creative field things. Yeah. Uh, short story is I, uh, have been going to whitewater. I mean, it used to the church that I currently work at that Joe currently works at. Um, we, uh, I've been going there since it was the previous building. Uh, so Westwood Cheviot. So um, I went to a year college for radio and TV broadcasting, the Ohio Center for Broadcasting. It's Ohio Media School now. And when I was there, they're like, you got to get in, uh, intern, internship, externship hours. So I was already done with them, but I still was like, ah, I'll reach out to Whitewater. I see they do some video stuff. And I'm pretty sure at that time, Joe, you were only like a year into into doing video stuff for Whitewater. And so, from- yeah. From my understanding, you had like barely any experience shooting video stuff. You were just like you were just throwing stuff against the wall. So, um, yeah, I just reached out. I had done some silly, stupid videos on YouTube. And so I was like, here's my YouTube page, one of many that I've done, because uh, I'm always I'm, I'm the type of person that is like, hey, I'm going to start a YouTube page and I'm going to make videos every day and it's going to be great. They're going to be hilarious. And then two weeks in, I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and so I just, I just quit. But I, I sent you the page. I remember I, I'm pretty sure I Facebook messaged Whitewater and sent the page. Now I'm going to dance. Hit it. And then, or maybe it was an email. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was Facebook mm-hmm. Messenger. And, uh, and the response that I got back was not what I was expecting. You said something along the lines of like, um, damn, these are funny or like, these are funny as hell or something like that. Just not what I was expecting a church to (laughs) (laughs) say. Uh, and so, yeah, it's from there on, I started volunteering, helping you with video stuff. Um, we, I, I like gripped on a couple of music videos for Michael Boggs. Um, Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, just the rest is literal history. Um, started, uh, you asked me and Krista to come on to your photography company. Um, having never touched a camera basically at least manual uh so that was fun uh and then started contracting with the with uh whitewater i feel like that you pushed me a lot growing uh and 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 the same with this film the first time i ever wrote a script was for this film for a couple of the characters um elliot who you just said you just interviewed so um hit one of his characters uh I wrote those characters. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's, it's been fun. First time for a lot of people on this movie for lots of things. Uh, so yeah, first time writers, <clears throat> first time I've written anything mm-hmm. uh, that size and same thing with you. And then even though you've been behind the camera and we've done skits and stuff and you're coming, yeah, funny things. Yeah. Nothing, nothing like a serious role, which is what Frank's mm-hmm. character was. So when you first, because you wrote a different character. So when you first read that, which John Briscoe wrote that character, him and Carl, what, what like, I think I remember you like immediately saying like, I want to read for Frank. And at first I, uh, well, I said, I said Carl at first. Oh, you said I Carl. To, and I am pretty sure I read for Carl. Maybe and then, did. yeah. And then you guys are like, I actually think you'll be really good for Frank. So I read because, for Carl because Carl is in my wheelhouse. Like, yeah. like that is the kind of stuff that I normally do. I know yeah. the type of characters that I, I, I excel at. And it's usually that kind of character, like out, yeah. out there, idiot character that just doesn't understand anything. Yeah. And that's kind of how Carl is. Um, so when you're like, yeah, you should, you should be Frank. I just wanted to act like 
I, I'd never really done anything more than just me goofing around on a camera. So yeah. when you're like, yeah, dude, I think, I think you should do Frank. And I was like, all right, I'll do Frank. And there's some similarities between me and Frank. So yeah, I think, I, can, I, think I can pull it yeah. out. Yeah. Anger every now and then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I think I remember there was a scene that I think uh, you kept the scream in, but yeah. <clears throat> towards the end of the scene, I get angry Frank gets angry and then he walks over to the elevator and just impromptu. I just gave a huge, like, <laughs> and everybody like got scared and they're like, Oh my gosh, is he like, okay. <laughs> and I just channeled my inner. That was, one, yeah, my, that was my, cool because we just let that scene go. Like I, I tend to let things go really long before I yeah. say cut just cause I just want to see what happens and I want to see, you know, it may, I may cut it a lot sooner, and in most cases I do, but I remember letting you walk down that hallway to the elevator in that scene, um, and then you hit the button, and we still stay on you, and then you scream. I was like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was fun. So Yeah, I, I felt like, uh, so Teresa, uh, of course, did a lot of the casting. Teresa Gordon, she was great with that. So as we were discussing you, I remember at the same time, then Lair read for Carl. And yeah. so then when we looked at you and Lair, we were just like, man, I th really think you fit in Frank better. And then and then seeing Lair, who else perfect for who Carl. else would have been Carl other I than know. Lair? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, my, my I'll tell you what, my performance would have been much different for Carl than than yeah. Lair's. So it would yeah. have been a much different. I think his I think his his performance <laughs> was freaking. It was awesome. It was so good. Yeah. I was just talking with Elliot about that in the last interview about if you give people creative space, that means they're going to take it different directions depending on what you. So I'm sure there was something in John Briscoe's head when he wrote it. There was something in my head when I when I read it and edited it. And then in, in Carl and your your characters, you know, it's like giving you all creative liberties to kind of go with it and just yeah. be like, oh, I like that. So actually, uh, I've heard other actors do this. To where they learn the lines the day of. Hmm. That's what I did. <laughs> I learned the lines. I learned the lines the day of. So. Really? So uh, what's yeah, the, just, like so that way you like, you, you know, just, you, don't, you you no, are fresh to the lines. You're it. fresh to the lines, and and yeah. you're not overthinking. You're just act like you're just acting the way that you would in real life. So that's not the reason that I did it. <clears throat> I've yeah. just heard other actors <laughs> done it that That's way. Kind of so I was like, ooh, ooh, that was me. I did that. <laughs> well, I just uh, – I don't I don't know if I'll put this in the interview, but just FYI, I auditioned for a role, in, a speaking role in a film that's being shot in Lynchburg, Virginia. A friend of mine oh, edits – or uh, acts and produces. And uh, so he had a production. He said, I, thought you, I think you'd be good for this, Joe. And they have to be good at tennis, which I'm actually decent at tennis, enough to, like, mm -hmm. fake a couple of sure. scenes. Yeah. Uh, but then also you have to be good at sign language. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> you can learn it. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I'm doing the audition. I'm doing the audition tape, you know. And I've never auditioned for anything, but I've seen lots of auditions. So then, like, yeah. I just kind of reproduced what I saw, you know. So in the scene, I'm supposed to be signing, except I don't know how to sign yet. So I'm doing fake signing, which <laughs> – Probably very offensive. Probably. They're like, did he just curse at me? Yeah. Well, I'm sitting there doing this. They can actually read sign language and you're yeah, like, I don't know. I I know signs in baseball, you know. <laughs> so, we'll see how that That's goes. Cool. It's a you, it's a just paid send, role. Just send him just send them uh your your D and D skit acting performance or the <laughs> or the Christmas giving performance. <laughs> Christmas giving. What's that? What's yeah, remember that? the video that has never been seen by anyone but us. Which one is that? The one that that we wrote, and, it, and John was like, "No." Oh yeah. Oh, I am really proud of that. <laughs> I'll put that on my reel. I'll start pulling my reel together too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, um, we're all super excited about uh, it releasing. Uh, hope actually next month, so officially. So it'll be. I'm proud of it. Um, yeah. I'm happy with how everybody did and excited for people to experience it. So I have not watched it since all of the underscore and everything's been under it, uh, been put yeah, under you, it. So yeah, you've only seen, I, you've sent it to me. I have it. Yeah. I just, I think I'm going to go into it and not 
Well, just and I, and so, yeah, just watch it with everybody. Yeah, I'm else. just gonna yeah, I'm gonna watch it in theaters because I've seen I've seen it without any music or anything yeah. underneath underneath it, and, and I'm, I'm I think once you add all of that and kind of tie everything together, it's gonna be great. Yeah. So cool, dude. All right, thanks for all your work on it. Appreciate you. You too. All right, have a good night. See ya. Peace. Peace. I signed this to you. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.